Chris Stunning here from Tech Quarters. Uh, going to tell you a little bit about cloud security today, specifically Microsoft's Office 365 security, which is their uh, online provision of all of their cloud applications, uh, and Tech Quarters implements uh, 365. So it's stored on their Microsoft data centers. They have between 10 and 100 of these across the world. Uh, it, you can provision your own data to sit on a specific data center. If you're in Europe, you, you could select Dublin or you could select uh, Amsterdam. And these data centers have accreditations. They are accredited with ISO 27001, which is typically based on information security standards and uh, it's to do with security management of the systems that are provided in those data centers. It's also BSI, British Standard Institute stamped. Um, they also have SAS 70 Type 2 audits done, and I get these done every year. Um, the, this is a, a, an audit established by the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants. Wow, that's a mouthful. Uh, and um, it's basically for services that are provided online for organizations such as insurers, medical claims experts, uh, hosted data centers, and application service providers. As I said, Microsoft get that done every year. So, on to physical and logical. Okay, uh, physically, what we mean by that is any Microsoft personnel cannot get into these data centers unless they are security cleared. They have a badge that allows them to get in, and then they have their hands and their eyes red before they go to the secure areas. They also have a Microsoft security officer that on a quarterly basis checks who's allowed to get into those data centers and reviews their access. Um, logically, they're protected behind business grade firewalls, uh, you have active directory passwords and um, you know, all the network services associated with Microsoft networking that secures it. Um, moving on, the privacy of data. Um, Microsoft states this, we use your data only to provide services that you want. And what that means is that they won't use your data in the provision of Office 365 for anything but delivering the service to you. So they can use it for troubleshooting, they can use it for security, spam and malware prevention, they can use it for improving the purchase service and its analytics. What they won't use it for is communications of tips, advice and surveys and promotions to anybody else. They won't use it for voluntary disclosure to law enforcement and they won't use your information for advertising. Uh, moving on, built-in security. What we're talking about here is when you connect to the Microsoft servers, you're connecting over 128-bit secure encryption. Uh, this is using uh, secure sockets layer and transport layer security, that's SSL and TLS to most of us in the techie world. Um, you can also get enhanced security uh, to pr protect sensitive information such as uh, secure and multi-purpose, multi uh, it's a mouthful, MIME to most of us, um, for public key encryption and digital signatures applied to that security. So um, I guess what we're saying here is that when you connect to Microsoft online servers, it's over 128-bit encryption, it's secure, and you can add ex extended security to it as well. So thanks for listening, and we have a white paper on security. You can get that from techcourses.com, uh, or you can email us and we'll send you a copy about Office 365 security. Thanks for listening. Cheers.